The overall goal of the following experiment is to transmit plant viruses using whiteflies. This is achieved by establishing and maintaining a colony of whiteflies that supply newly emerged adult whiteflies on a weekly basis, which are not contaminated with other potential vectors and pathogens. The colony is maintained by regularly adding whiteflies to young, insect-free plants from which new adults are produced after 17 to 20 days. Each week, the newly emerged adults can be transferred to test plants to either acquire or transmit virus. Transmission efficiencies of nearly 100% are obtained typically, and transmission rates will usually begin low and climb with systematic optimization. The most challenging aspect of using whiteflies to inoculate viruses is rearing the whiteflies in such a way that unwanted pathogens and insects are excluded. Pathogens, particularly root-rotting fungi and leaf blights, will reduce the quality of the virus host plants. Unwanted insects such as thrips can suppress whitefly reproduction as well as compromise the quality of the virus host plant. Demonstrating the procedures will be Heather Capobianco, a technician from my laboratory. Whitefly colonies should be maintained in a clean and controlled growth room. Control of relative humidity, temperature, photo period, and light intensity are essential. For a colony that develops from egg to adult in 18 days, use the following settings. The temperature should be set between 26 and 30 degrees Celsius, and the relative humidity should ideally be between 30 and 50 percent.